Um, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Flynn. The um, Economic and Business Forum uh, was tasked to handle six topics. Uh, very briefly, the first topic was entrepreneurship, the key to sustainable development and poverty reduction. The second topic was the tourism resource. The third topic was the economic freedom index, the roadmap for economic dynamism and prosperity. The fourth topic was the ASEAN Renaissance, unleashing entrepreneurial power for peace and prosperity. The fifth topic was trade and investment as a catalyst for peace and regional stability. The sixth was international business success and cultural competencies. Now, all the six topics, though diverse or coming from different angles, all converge into a few points. The first point is that entrepreneurship or entrepreneurs are the innovators and creators of business. Second point, it is businesses that produce wealth either through the production of products and or services. And these products and services, that is wealth, will lead to job creation, reduction of poverty, and eventually prosperity, and eventually peace. Therefore, it is very apparent and clear that governments must provide support maybe incentive in giving entrepreneurial freedom to all the peoples of the world to make their creative minds come forth to solve problems and to give us a better quality of life. And governments must do this with an upright moral standing, again, of course, universal values and good governance. There is no other way. Now, that said, the uh, topic on cultural competencies also pointed out that in spite of technological development that brings the world closer in time and space, or you call it propinquity, there will still exist different cultures around the world. Though we may, as one world, find some I don't know, similar cultures, there will still be subcultures or underlying cultures that are different. That said, it is therefore important for everyone, not just businessmen, to be aware that they must study, educate themselves, and respect the different cultures that exist around the world, even as technology tries to bring in one culture. The ASEAN, Association of Southeast Asian Nations, celebrates its 50th year this year, 2017. And through the last 50 years, ASEAN has been able to avoid war and have peace because it continued to build, as Dr. Moon calls it, new models for peace and development. Through the years, it created different models with different names. AIC, ASEAN Industrial Complementation, BBC, and so on and so forth. No? That said, we are saying, until today, we still need new models in ASEAN. It is a work in progress. It's continually moving onward. Globally, Brexit, the Trump win in the USA, all of these signs of populism is also a search for newism, which is a new model, not only for business. Moving forward, we uh, would like to propose to the body and to our GPF that uh, we create a GPBEC, Global Peace, Business, and Economic Council, moving forward. Or one of the guys said, we call it GPPEC. With that, uh, we thank you very much. That's our report.